Currently, patients with intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, as well as colorectal liver metastasis, are eligible for hepatic artery infusion pump. For those patients who have colorectal liver metastasis, it's used in two settings. Firstly, it's used for those who have unresectable disease in order to try and convert them to resectability with curative intent. Additionally, it's used as an adjunct for those undergoing liver resection who are high risk for liver recurrence. For patients with intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, it's used in the setting of patients who are unresectable in an attempt to render them resectable with curative intent. When patients come for evaluation for hepatic artery infusion pump, they should expect to undergo a CT scan or MRI to evaluate the arteries and ensure that the hepatic artery infusion pump is suitable for them. In terms of what to expect when the, with the actual placement of the hepatic artery infusion pump, if it is placed at the time with no other liver resection, they should expect about a three-day hospital stay. If we resect additional liver with placement of the infusion pump, this hospital stay may be extended by a day or two. Chemotherapy has improved significantly for metastatic colorectal cancer. That being said, it is hard to get high doses of chemotherapy directly to the liver to treat metastatic colorectal cancer to the liver. The hepatic artery infusion pump allows us to give chemotherapy directly through the hepatic artery, which feeds colorectal liver metastasis and allows us to give a significantly higher dose of chemotherapy that reaches just the liver metastasis and doesn't allow for systemic spread of the chemotherapy. It's often given in conjunction with traditional IV chemotherapy as an adjunct. Here at Johns Hopkins, we have a multidisciplinary clinic that evaluates patients with colorectal liver metastasis and will determine whether or not your patient will benefit from a hepatic artery infusion pump. 